Well, a heartbroken little village community coming together tonight, mourning the loss of yet another child and pleading for peace. WGN's Brona Tumblety joins us now from outside the police station in Lawndale. Brona. Good evening, guys. Yeah, this little girl had just been living in America for a few months. She was enrolled at Zapata Elementary School, and life seemed to be going very well until a simple walk to the store yesterday ripped another family apart. And all you hear about Chicago is the crime, the crime, the crime. That has to stop. I love my city, but this is, it's exhausting. Marisol Cruz is a mother who wanted to be at this little village memorial today. But I'm a firm believer that when one mother is grieving, we should all be grieving. That could have very easily been my child, your child, God forbid, or somebody else's. The balloons, the candles, the teddy bears that sit at the corner of 26th and Pulaski mark the spot where yet another child was struck Saturday by a stray bullet. The address is 3957 on 26. It's a, it's a child. 3957 on 26, 10 for a child was struck. There's no shock value anymore when we hear that a child has lost its life, and that has to change. What started as a walk to Walgreens with her mother ended with an ambulance racing to Stroger Hospital carrying eight-year-old Melissa Ortega. A gunshot wound to the head, too much for this little girl to overcome. It's frustrated just as a human. There's no regard for human life anymore. I'm watching a child light a candle for another child. This three-year-old belongs to Andrea Guzman, who came to pay her respects. I have a three-year-old and I have a 15-year-old. It could have been our children. At least eight children have been shot across the city since midnight on Monday. Police believe in this case, a man in his 20s was the intended target. He was also shot and taken to Mount Sinai in critical condition. This has been going on. I've been in this community since 1969, and I've seen a lot of stuff happening here and it just gets progressively worse. Those gathered amongst the crowd today, which spilled out onto the street at times, say they're just fed up with burying babies. All of us should be angry. These kids are pallbearers at age 13 and 14 years old. Instead of playing video games or running around, they can't do anything safely anymore. We're told Melissa was a student at Emiliano Zapata Academy and lived in Little Village with her mother. The pair had arrived from Mexico just a few months ago, according to a GoFundMe, to build their American dream. That dream is now shattered, and the money raised will be used to bring this little girl back home so she can be laid to rest. At some point, we need to come together and, and try to come up with a solution. I have no clue what the solution is, but something obviously needs to be done. We've just normalized this and it's a disgrace. Our city is so much better than this. The Chicago Teachers Union and the mayor among those offering condolences over this loss. Superintendent David Brown also tweeting out today, the Chicago Police Department stands with the Little Village community in the wake of this unthinkable tragedy and won't stop working until we find justice for this precious child and her family. Now, there have been no arrests in the case. We have tried to find some surveillance video today to no avail. If you have any information on who pulled the trigger yesterday, you're asked to call the anonymous tip line. The number should be on your screen right now. You can also submit uh, a tip anonymous through cpdtip.com. There's a 10 grand reward for information leading to an arrest, 15 grand if that arrest leads to a conviction. We also mentioned a GoFundMe there as well. We're going to get that link up on our website under this story. We're live tonight in Lawndale, Bruno Tumulty, WGN News.